We are on our way to the Chicago Blackhawks game versus the Philadelphia Flyers. Last game of the season. And the last game is a Blackhawk for Jonathan Taze. So, a good reason to come out. Show your support for Captain Sirius. Gonna miss him. Already missed Kane. Now we can miss the captain. There's no one left from the the dynasty or oh, severely depressed. Severely depressed. And we are here. So hopefully have some have a good game. <laughs> CJ, you ready for the game? No. He's still sleepy? He's a little tired still. <laughs> He's still waking up. Uh, he slept the whole drive in. He did. Maybe some ice cream will make him feel better. Ooh, ice cream. Yeah. Sun was out today. Sun setting. In about three months, we're gonna be in Philly. We're gonna see some things out there and end up in New Jersey and New York. Mm -hmm. Got, a wedding. Got a wedding to go to. And then in like five months, we'll be in California. So we're gonna go coast to coast this year. One more, one more escalator. Yeah. We're in the 300s because we're extra special. We 300s need... better than a lot of other numbers. Yeah. Yeah. It sh should be pretty good. So I have to get my iconic Kristen Daddy photo. <laughs> Since we're bringing CJ, we needed three tickets, so we could, um, didn't want to spend the extra money. <laughs> um, bathroom. bathroom first. Yeah. yearbook. We, did. we are here early. They're very loud. Should have brought the microphone. Anyway, we're all right, the countdown to warm up. Let's go, Hawks. We didn't make it to any regular seasons this game, just one preseason game, I think. It's been a tough year for Blackhawks fans. But let's hope that uh, things will be better next year. Basically, we're just going to put enough in there so it feels like you were at the game or the behind the scenes when they cut the commercial breaks, what you miss when you don't actually 
come out to the United Center and watch a game. Yeah, I guess that uh, aspects uh, a nice part to it, and uh, at the same time, you know, you uh, kind of just been going through the season with the team, and you know, as I recently was a lot of hard work for myself to get myself back in the lineup, knowing that this could be the situation I'm coming into, and um, at the same time, you know, it's the last game of the season, you guys have been playing really hard, so. No matter what, it's a boring answer, but that the focus is always on the game. Um, but aside from that, I have definitely a lot of thoughts, a lot of feelings. And it might be a little bit easier to sort through it when it's a little over, but uh, definitely going to try my best to just appreciate as much as I can the last time I mean, to go up there in front of our fans. I mean, to be able to have this chance to look back on my career and think of how many um, great groups I've been a part of in this locker room. And, and, just, I don't know, just the grind of a hockey season, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, all those, those different situations that, that bring you closer to your teammates and create those, those special bonds that last a long time. I mean, just thankful for all of that, really. I think that's the greatest part of the game. And, uh, you know, to really look back and realize how special an organization the Blackhawks are and how well they treated me and my family all these years. And, I'll probably feel the emotion a little bit more when I'm out there in front of the fans tonight. I think uh, you know, we've had a lot of success over the years, and the last few years have been tough, but our fans have been the best fans uh, through it all and through thick and thin. So that'll be special. And uh, yeah, like I said, I really want to do everything in my power to like, get them back in the lineup these last few games just to to really express my gratitude to the fans and people in Chicago that made it really special to, to pull on this jersey. Really. I don't think there are words to describe the amount of hard work and dedication that you put into your craft to have an Olympic career that you have now, but who are some of the names that have truly impacted what you've been able to do? That's a, that's a tough one. There's, there's just so many. I mean, off the top of my head, I the first names that come to mind here. As I came in, I see some Sharpie and Dumps and Crow. And, Hammer, Hose, Shaws, and Dix. Um, I know I'm missing a lot. Obviously, I could go on forever, but I mean, uh, even a few weeks ago, uh, some of those guys were back in town for, uh, for the alumni uh, Legends Camp, and, and it was good to see them again and kind of relive the glory days and some of the good times that we had together. And uh, you know, so, beyond the guys in the locker room, obviously, the, the organization of Danny. And, Rocky, and, and, and back to the guys that you played for, like Joel, and, and uh, it was just again, there's so many people, and you realize, um, you know, that's that's those are the people that really make this, this special, and being part of those teams with those people, and um, you go out there and do the best you can, and try and impact the game, and, and help your team win games. But there's just there's so many moving parts that. that uh, you don't quite control and you don't have an impact over, so you're just so thankful that you're lucky enough to be a part of those people.
And lastly, you've been given the nickname Captain Serious, but we know you have a fun side and there have been plenty of memories over your time here, but what's one thing you're really gonna miss? Uh, I might not miss being called Captain Serious, <laughs> so, but you know, it's funny. Uh, it's been something I've been fighting for a long time, and then you realize, hey, this is part of who you are, and um, you know, some things you can't change, and um, yeah, it's hard to think of one thing that I'm going to miss the most, but uh, I think, again, just going out there every single night and, and hearing the roar, and, and uh, you know, fans going crazy during the anthem, and some nights where you're playing a lot of games and travel's tough, and it's, it's wearing you down physically, the second year those fans, it, it, uh, it wakes you up and it ignites you and gets you ready to, to go out there and do it again. So I definitely miss that. Well, we know tonight is certainly going to be one of those nights, Jonathan. Thank you so much for your time today. Thanks, Jonathan. Blue Cross has Blue Shield of Illinois and teamed up with the Blackhawks and those two lucky fans will be close to the action as part of tonight's Blue Shield of Fan experience. Don't forget to bring your Blue Shield
At this time, Mr. Cardinal Blackhawk would like you all to stand if you are able, and you move your hands, and join us in honoring United States Navy Gunner's Mate First Class, Alan Shane. United States Navy Veteran, Gunner's Mate Second Class, Kayla Shane. And Chairman of Perry Van Palo Army Nation, United States Army Veteran, Staff Sergeant Joseph Rutten. As well as all the members of our military, home of God. As well as Frank Pellegrino. And so was Jim Grealison for former National Anthem. Second in the season scored by Bjork. Assist by Athens to see you and Mitchell at 920. Inside the Blackhawk store. And then when they do the magic, they just turn the shelves around and it's a bulls store. Bulls merch behind the Blackhawks merch. It's magic. It's magic. Got a CJ a shirt. Now we gotta get our hockey puck. Hockey 
Puck. Clark, Hockey Puck. It's all, it's 25, 20% off. You want to put this on your honor of black possible? Okay. Can I get the smaller one? Yeah, you can get the smaller one. Red, as long as it's the red one. CJ. Look okay, at you see the fingers? CJ, you want the finger? The game started. I'm gonna get back to our seat. Blocking my swag. I am for the smaller one, not the big one. Tommy Hawk looks to finish. 
finish off a perfect season. Tommy Hawk going for me to know he's going to breeze to this one. But here's Robert. Here's Robert. Bobby Amanda. Oh, Robert has beat Tommy Hawk at the last moment in the last game of the 2022-2023 season. Make some noise for Robert knocking Tommy off the crowd. And nice uh, shout out to the folks behind him, too, for making the weather. That's the North Shore Light Race. I'm feeling great.
There's just no way you can put it into words what this is. We're a part of the best organization of sports in the world. And we play for the best fans in the world. consider family that are behind the scenes and don't ever get any credit, but they're there every step of the way through the, the tough days and the good days. And uh, for Gapper to be around as long as he's been and seen the ups and downs and uh, been there for the Stanley Cups and now to get a send off.
No more Taze. No more Kane. No more Sharp. No more Hosa. No Keith. No Shaw. No Shaw. No Sad. No CBS. <sighs> no Crawford. No Darling. We got, Con we got a Connor Murphy. And a Seth and a Jones. And another Jones. And another Jones. And then there's two other Asians that I'm very excited about. <laughs> I'm really sad. You're gonna have to learn a lot of new names. Everybody's gone. Got Bobby Hall, Stan Mikita. We got it. There you go. We didn't get the lights at night. We didn't go out towards the front. CJ needs to get home. I got work tomorrow. Leah's got work tomorrow. Yeah. I wish I could stay home with you, CJ, and take Like your your bling? Mm. It's so pretty. Oh my god, what what a way to send off Taze if he would have got that breakaway in overtime. Holy cow. Yeah. He looked like he was upset too that he didn't get it. Yeah. Like like oh should have done that. <sighs> love Taze. I love him. Sixteen years. That's a long time. Twenty year uh when he was twenty, became captain of the Blackhawks. Him and Kane came in and turned. They grew up together. They grew up together. Now they're both gone. Oh. Took your bling off. So I'll be honest, we didn't really watch this season. We didn't. We barely even acknowledged when they, when our notifications went off and stuff. And we didn't do that this year. Yeah. I hope it turns around. We're gonna go to training camp if it happens. And we'll go to training camp. Hopefully. All right. So we finally made it home. Um, yeah, the Blackhawks haven't been doing great, but we have a, a history with Blackhawks and going to Blackhawks games. One of the main reasons why we started dating was Blackhawks. So they always have a place in our heart. Even if they're like third to last place, I don't know what the final standing's gonna say, but at least we got two points tonight mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. our last game. So, yes. and I think what Anaheim's below us. You and, said the other day. I don't yeah, remember. I can't remember who else. Um, I think was it the uh, it was the, the team Panarum was on. I think. Mm. So. All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed our little Jonathan Taze uh, video. And we're going to miss him. Hope, I don't know who, what team he's going to go to or if he's going to call it quits and become a coach or whatever. But he's 34. He's a lot younger than me. So he can still do it. Mm -hmm. Yager is still doing it. Hosa was doing it up into my, my age, so forty something. Yeah. Forty something. So, still got a lot of time left in him. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, all right, guys, we'll see you later. Bye.